Multiple projects are underway right now that are bringing new restaurants, shops, and housing to Grand Rapids West Side. Right now, there are more than 200 apartment buildings being built on the west side of Grand River. 616 Development is working on two projects just off of Bridge Street. Rockford Construction is working on a student housing complex called Fulton Place. The developers say the west side has a lot to offer and a lot of people want to call it home. We're really excited to build a bridge from the core to the west side. You know, there's been some great development, you know, with Rockford and others that have, that have put some energy into this community. I think when people... Most of these projects will be completed by late summer or early fall. Supporters of open carry gun laws gathered on the lawn of the state capitol today. They called it a stand for their Second Amendment rights. Groups carrying the guns were in the halls of the capitol and in the gallery overlooking the House and Senate chambers. There is still controversy over open carry laws, especially inside school buildings. Open carry is legal in Michigan schools for individuals with valid concealed pistol licenses. Today, State Senator Rick Jones formally introduced legislation amid a shutting down oil pipelines in the Great Lakes. We told you about this legislation earlier this week. The bill's main target is Enbridge Oil Line 5. It's a 62-year-old pipeline running under the Straits of Mackinac. This bill would be to stop future pipelines from running through the Great Lakes. It would also require operators of current pipelines to undergo a full risk analysis. Senator Jones believes that the Line 5 would be shut down after that analysis. The legislation has been referred to the Senate Energy and Technology Committee for consideration. A study done at the University of Michigan found that pediatricians may soon be able to track attention abilities in children, just as they do with their height and weight. Researchers used test scores and brain scans from more than 500 kids and teens to create a brain growth chart. They were able to predict a child's performance on attention tests by looking at the development of certain brain networks. Children with ADHD symptoms and a poor attention score were the furthest off the brain development curve. Experts say the idea of a brain growth chart is promising, but it is a long way from being put into use. The Michigan DNR has euthanized a black bear that became aggressive in southwest Michigan. The bear had been spotted off and on for several months near homes and populated areas in Berrien County. DNR officials say the bear was showing less fear of being around people and had become a danger. The bear was captured in Grand Mere State Park and put down. According to the DNR, the bear was not relocated because he posed a human threat. The so-called affluenza teen has been sentenced to nearly two years in jail. 19-year-old Ethan Couch made his first appearance in adult court today. A Texas District Court judge sentenced Couch to jail for 720 days. When Couch was a teen, he was sentenced to 10 years probation in juvenile court for a 2013 crash that killed four people. The case was moved to adult court after Couch violated his probation by being where alcohol was served. He then fled with his mother to Mexico. She was charged with hindering the apprehension of a felon. The discovery of a handgun in former NFL star Will Smith's car is raising questions about what happened the night he was shot. Smith was shot eight times and died in New Orleans after reportedly exchanging words with Cardell Hayes Saturday night. Hayes has been charged in Smith's killing. His attorney claims his client was the victim of a hit and run. Police confiscated a gun at the scene and found another inside Hayes Hummer and now one in Smith's car. Smith's family attorneys spoke to the reporters today. At no time during this event, to my knowledge at all. Thompson says Smith's wife Raquel was shot once in each leg and was recovering in a hospital. Will Smith's casket will be on public display Friday at the New Orleans Saints training facility. Lawyers for the man accused of killing nine people inside a South Carolina church will get another year to prepare their case. A judge has agreed to delay the state death penalty trial for Dylan Roof until 2017. Roof is accused of opening fire inside a church last June, killing nine people. He also faces 33 federal counts, including hate crime charges. State officials have already said they will seek the death penalty. Roof's state trial will begin in January, with jury selection taking place in December. Chicago has a new top cop. In a unanimous vote, the city council approved Eddie Johnson as Chicago's new police superintendent. Johnson is a 27-year-old veteran of the department. He grew up in Chicago, and the agency is facing extreme scrutiny following a series of police-involved shootings. During his swearing-in ceremony, Johnson promised to do his absolute best to regain the public's trust in the department. If I succeed, that means the CPD succeeds, and that means the city of Chicago succeeds. Chicago Mayor Rob Emanuel handpicked Johnson to lead the department. Coal will no longer be burned at Holland's James D. Young plant, but it's not closing down altogether. We'll explain next.
Plus, we'll tell you about the new plans for Lion Square in downtown Grand Rapids and how they fit into the River Restoration Project.